Man, it's gotta be real embarrassing to be a sprinter zombie just to die to one of the most pathetic survivors in all of Project Zomboid. But the fact of the matter is I'm up here and they're down there, which means we continue to live another day. Anyways everyone, welcome back to Project Zomboid, joined by Bartholomew himself in which we've survived 14 days and we've killed 127 zombies, weighing 122 kilograms going on down. And today's gonna be another, it's gonna be another looting day. All right, because we have another one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight locations to loot. Then we're gonna grab our car right at the circle and head right on back home. For now, we need to find a place to sleep because we are ridiculously tired and the clock is ticking, which means we need to get on moving. I think the home that we saw up to the northeast is going to be a very good location for us. Let's head on down, keep our eyes peeled for any zombies, and hopefully we can sleep without too much of an issue. Here we are, we have the mailbox, and judging from the mail in the front, there's gonna be one house and I'm guessing two garages in the back area, accompanied by two zombies. Well, it's a good thing we have this spear then. Let's give them a nice lobotomy. Did I ever tell you how much I love spears? Oh man, they literally just walk right into it and it makes my life so much easier. Another thing that's pretty cool, that right there is a survivor vehicle, it seems, right in front of a small house with a pretty big cattle farm? We're gonna go check out the cattle farm so we can save the big house for later. I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, it is. Let's go see if there's anything cool inside here. And by cool stuff, I mean nothing at all. Can I get rid of my claustrophobia in here? Oh, we can. <laughs> okay. It looks like Bartholomew is sleeping with the animals tonight because this is the only place he feels comfortable in. You know, screw the house. I want to sleep on a pile of hay and, and drink from a water trough. Now that is how you spend a Saturday evening. We'll save that for later, though. We can go loot the other homes now. Ooh, actually, there is a shed in the back. And for the most part, these things have some real good stuff within them. Lights on, let's check it out. We have ourselves a magazine, another box of nails, a screwdriver, some fertilizer, and a rake. Okay, that's it in here. Let's check out the house. We have an empty closet a single dead corpse right outside a very strange and ominous boarded up door. Uh, we got a hand torch, an onion, a dish towel, coca powder, flour, a word search magazine, some t-shirts, a VHS over the Thompsons, a single trapping book and the Thompsons. And finally, we have ourselves an M9 pistol on the ground. You know what? I'll kill a zombie with that. Let's grab this real quick. Open the door, push this guy to the ground, and promptly blow his brains out. Wow, you did it, buddy. <laughs> we actually killed a zombie with a gun. Hell yeah, Bart, that's another one for the books. Okay, now that this place is clear, I'm not gonna be sleeping within the barn tonight because it's just too much work. Instead, we're just gonna drink a quarter of this beer can and sleep like a normal human. I will see all of you tomorrow. On day 15, we wake up a nervous wreck and terrified. So in order to fix that, we're gonna go wash ourselves off and move on back down towards the car. Oh, did the power go out? Okay, everyone, it was nice while it lasted, but the power has finally turned off, leaving Bartholomew in a blackout scenario. Dang, dude, it only took 15 days. Well, at the very least, most of the food we have is non-perishable, so it shouldn't affect us too much. And, you know, we're not really watching TV every day, especially when we have magazines we can read. We still are a nervous wreck. Nothing I can do about that, though. Let's head on out. Oh, and before I do, let me go drop off my pistol. And you know what? I forgot to check you out, Kentucky Transit. No way. Yeah. Okay, wow, everyone, we got ourselves the key to the van. Let's see if we can pop it open. 
Yeah, the key goes right in the ignition like Cinderella's foot. The only problem is that it doesn't have gasoline. Okay, let's go check out the back, though. Aw, dang. I was really hoping there would have been a gas tank in the back that I could use to transfer out fuel, but that's fine. Let's go check out the mechanics instead. Revealing one of the best cars I have ever seen in my life. We are talking a 75% condition engine, a 85% condition battery, and a decent gas tank, all within a pretty nice and tight package. All right, everyone, we have found ourselves a new vehicle. Let's go drop off all of the tools and supplies inside the back so we can, you know, drop off the other stuff later. Oh God, I hear, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. That was a little bit close. Where the hell did they come from? Oh, yeah, no, there's more inside that, that damn cornfield, man. That could have went bad. I'm really glad I kept my cool there. I'm gonna go slam this salmon filet and we'll go take care of the next idiot over there. Hey, you handled yourself pretty well, though, Bart. You know, I will give you that, buddy. Okay, boom. We've consumed the cheese. Next... We equip the spear, very slowly and delicate-like, because we have very unnimble fingers. Finally prepping ourselves to skewer one more idiot. I say good day to you, sir. Is there any more out there? No? Good. Let's go head back, all the way, to the car, and we can transfer out some gas. And while we're moving down, I might want to go check out this little place here. And while we're moving down, we might want to go check out this small warehouse over there as well. Okay then, we got ourselves a full goal to do then. Alrighty, we got ourselves a full goal to do then. So let's kick it into maximum overdrive, Bart. We got a long ways to go. And here we are, everyone. There seems to be no zombies around here. We have went quite the ways down, resulting in my character being extremely tired, but hopefully this entire trip should be worth it. What do we got inside? Already, I spy with my little eye a small shelf in the corner. So let's take a closer look. Hello, I just heard another zombie. Where was that? Am I going insane? No, I definitely heard something! Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, you're a freak! Oh, get get down! Stay down! Stay down! Hold on! Get back up, though, actually, so I can insta-kill you. What the hell, ma'am? Oh, it's one jump scare after the other, I swear on my life! Oh, alright. How's my spear looking after that one? Pretty worse for wear, but still usable. She has nothing on her of value, but we do have ourselves an empty watering can and a sink. On top of the sink, though, we got ourselves some food crates. And you might be wondering, why the heck did I visit this warehouse out in the middle of nowhere, right? Well, I mean, for one, it's a warehouse, so there's gonna be some good stuff. But two, the main thing is that we should have ourselves a lot of food. Sadly, all of the food has went bad. I don't think we're gonna find anything here. But we are gonna look around because there is a small chance that we get ourselves some potatoes here. Because instead of being rotten right now, they are only stale. So we can pop these open, just like that, and make ourselves potato salad. And as it stands right now, food is an extremely rare resource that we need, which means having the ability to eat perishable food before the non-perishable stuff will push Bartholomew a little bit further into ultimate survivor territory. Hopefully we can find a couple more sacks like that, then we are gonna be doing the whole gauntlet trip, which I'll describe after. For now, we are sniffing out some potatoes in which we were only able to find around three full sacks of potatoes, which is still quite a bit, because potatoes out of all of the other veggies in the game last about 28 days in the game. With the first 14 days being fresh and the second half of the 14 being stale, so we have another 14 full days 
for these potatoes to go bad fully. And if I put them inside, you know, stews, stir fries, the whole nine yards, we should be able to subsist off of this for the next week or so, which is very, very nice. Alrighty, let's get a move on down towards the warehouse. So my plan right now is to head all the way back towards the warehouse area in which all of the stuff is there, in which I will grab as much as possible. We are going to load it all up, including the gas tank that I found. We are going to head all the way back down the road to the crashed car. We're going to siphon out the fuel, finally moving it down a little bit more, grabbing the van, filling it up, and as soon as that's done, we can head all the way back down towards our base. And I'm pretty sure on the way, there are going to be a couple of wrecks that we might be able to siphon out some fuel with. If not, we're gonna have to find that in the future. That's really all I have. Hopefully the gasoline lasts long enough. There's only one way to find out though. So let's get a dang move on. It's gonna be another real long day. Hey, but it's still gonna be pretty productive. That is gonna be another level of foraging, bringing Bartholomew up to level two. Nice. Also, instead of going all the way through this gauntlet, I think I'm gonna sleep once I make it to the warehouse. So we're gonna have a quarter of the beer and we will make some potato salads to make, you know, the food go by a little bit easier. Okie dokie, after a full day of reading and walking around training my strength, we have woken up on a very misty day. I don't really feel too confident about going out during the mist, but we have cleared out the area well enough to move out without too much of an issue. It also looks like it's a pretty fine mist, so we should be able to see. Anyways, we have everything in our inventory. We are a little bit peckish, so before I head out, we will make ourselves a classic Bartholomew meal, which is gonna be some stale potato stir fry. Bada bam, put a single potato in it, put a second in there, and we have ourselves a full and hearty meal. Boom, we are stuffed. We're not too exhausted. We are still a nervous wreck, but there's nothing I can do about that. Let's get a move on down. By the time we head down, actually, we should level up our strength. Yeah, it's gonna be a long road ahead, though. But in order to get ahead in life, you gotta crack a couple eggs to make an omelet. By the way, the egg is Bartholomew. He is going to go through a full ego death before he becomes a good survivor. Hey, on the other hand, though, we have grown out our beard even more. <laughs> Nice, we've made it over to the second goal, and it looks like the fog is clearing up as well. That entire walk completely took the wind out of me and made me ridiculously tired, so getting into combat right now is not going to be the vibe. Our body is also going through excessive amounts of exercise fatigue, but that should build character. We are so, we are so close to strength level 3. Anyways, let's go siphon out the gas and cross our fingers, it's enough to get anywhere. I mean, looking at it in the grand scheme of things, it might not seem like that much gasoline, but let's just hope that the van we have is very fuel efficient. <laughs> if not though, we are going to be hoofing it for a while longer. Boom, we've made it over though. There are no zombies in the backfield to jump me this time. So let's add the gasoline, transfer the stuff in, and finally get a move on down to the mansions. We are on a pretty big time limit, so I won't be wasting a lot of time at all. We need to skedaddle <laughs> right now. Oh man, looking at that gas tank is giving me so much anxiety, but we can make it, hopefully. Please? Okay, wow, it actually got us pretty far, and I decided to stop it here because we did see a car wreck down over this way. So I really wanted to see if there's any gasoline here before I go any further. We are about halfway to the mansions, so I definitely think we have enough fuel to make it. I'm gonna go check down this road very briefly as well, and we'll see if there's any other wrecks around the area. In which we have more nothing. Okay, let's go check out the northern wreck then. Alright everyone, bad news. None of these have gasoline in them. Oh, that sucks eggs, huh? None? None at all. Okay, it looks like we are gonna be on the lookout for some gasoline then. Oh man, it's gonna be a real close one. Oh, and hold on. 
I forgot about this spot here as well. This might be it. Come on, big money, big money. No gas. Dang it, dude. Oh, but there is one thing I do want from here. And that's a sledgehammer, because I have a pretty unorthodox method on clearing out my claustrophobia within a home, and hopefully it'll work. I guess we'll see about that in the future. Also, screw your traffic cones. You're useless to me. Let's keep her moving. Oh, hold on. More wrecks. Damn, dude, there's actually a crap ton here. I mean, come on. What are the chances of just one of these having gas? That one doesn't. This one doesn't. And neither does this one. I swear, man, my luck is some of the best and some of the worst at the same time. Okay, let's not complain. We have a working car. It's something to, to bounce off of, right? And we have enough food to last us quite a few days as well. Let's squeeze in the rest of this gasoline in for the home stretch then. I went the wrong way. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Damn it. It's not fine. We're going to run out of gas. Oh, man, that's going to set me back. Woo. Thankfully, the game is pretty forgiving. Okay, we got ourselves our Kentucky Transit van now. Let's head inside and let's go close the back door and open up the garage. There we are, we got it secured now. And now that we are in here, I'm gonna try something, right? Because we've learned that in a large enough location, like a warehouse, my character's claustrophobia and agoraphobia is both placated. So what I was thinking, we could maybe use a sledgehammer to knock a few holes inside this house to open up the possibility to not get scared inside my own home, right? So I'm gonna smash down some of these walls in a hope to get rid of it, right? Come on, it might work. I doubt it, but it's worth a try, right? <laughs> Alrighty, after a little bit of time and some TLC, we have cleared out the entirety of this house to make a very large room, and regardless, I am still getting scared. So I think it's kind of a lost cause. We've destroyed a whole lot of stuff, and my guy is still terrified of living inside here, so I don't think we're gonna get rid of it anytime soon. Which sucks, because I really ruined this place. I disassembled all of the wardrobes, and my character still can't catch a break. Before I end things off today, though, I will check my plants, wash myself off, and look at the other homes to see if maybe they're big enough for me to not get scared at. Because if not, I might move down to the warehouse very soon. Anyways, these young potatoes, or tomatoes, are flourishing. They're still fine in water levels. Our clothing is now clean, and I should probably sleep. And our body is now rested up and fine. As fine as I can be, of course. By the way, the sledgehammer trick did not do anything. We are still terrified of living inside this house. Okay. We'll go check out the other homes, and we will end things off then. Also, that is a level up for my strength. Hey, that's not bad at all. Anyways, let's go see if these homes are any different. This one isn't, but this house is different. I'm not sure if you're looking at that, but this living room is big enough for me to like actually rest up in. Okay, this is our new home, everyone. It has a fireplace. It's right next to my other spot and I don't get terrified of living inside here, which means the only thing I need to deal with now is me being a nervous wreck. And I think next episode is gonna be a big training arc for me, right? We can rest up here, we can eat potatoes for about 14 days, and after that we should be not obese anymore, and we should hopefully kick our smoking habit very soon. I have no idea if that's gonna work, but we shall see, right? Anyways, I think I'm gonna end things off here. We did quite a bit, we got ourselves a new car, and we have so many supplies to our name. Not to mention the three sacks of potatoes which will feed me for the next two weeks. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you next time. Peace the hell out.